Hey everyone, I'm Kat of Cat Star Music, and today on Ask Cat, we are going to be talking about stage fright. Oh, did everybody just get nervous? Yeah, that's what usually happens. So, I want to start by telling you a little bit of my theory on stage fright. Why we get it? Why it affects everybody? And by the way, it does affect everybody. Okay, um, when we have stage fright. It can feel like such an isolating experience like you look around and everybody can look really cool and calm and collected you're like am I the only one that's freaking out no you're not um, it's a really common feeling and it takes a long time to learn how to how to incorporate those nervous jitters into your performance and how to work through them so we're gonna talk a little bit about where they come from. All right, this is not scientific. This is my theory and I've not researched it. I've not looked it up, anything like that, but this is my own take on it. My theory is that knowing that humans have evolved from hunter-gatherer societies of no more than 150 people, we depended on those 150 people for our food, our shelter, our safety from the elements and safety from larger animals than us. <clears throat> we were very interdependent and we had to make sure we didn't make any of those people super angry at us or uh, disgusted with us or upset at us. Because if we did, if we made them so upset with us that we got ostracized, what do you think happened? If we were outside that group of safety, it didn't look so good, right? So, fast forward to today. You're on stage. You're looking out at an audience of your peers, which your brain, your, little, your lizard brain says are your group of 150 people, even though we know better. Um, and your lizard brain is saying, don't make anybody so upset with you that they kick you out of the group because in your brain, your brain's saying, you're gonna die. It's just music. You're not gonna die if you mess up. But that's what it feels like because that's what ostracism from a group used to mean, okay? That's why it feels so intense. That's why it feels so intense to let people down. That's why we're so concerned about having a good performance. Okay. I hope that that kind of reassures you that those are really normal feelings when um, you're concerned about your performance and how you come across to other people, either your family, um, that's a big deal. How, how you come across to your family or your friends um, or your peers, those are groups of people that we don't want to let down, okay? So, um, so it's really normal to get up on stage and be super concerned with how you look. <laughs> so anyway, totally normal. Every student I've ever taught in the last 13 years, super nervous about that. So. Here are some ways that stage fright can appear in our bodies, okay? Um, stage fright looks a lot like the fight or flight response. If you're not sure what that is, I highly recommend you stop this right now and go Google fight or flight. That's just a useful thing to know that our, our bodies do. Um, so ways that that can manifest are like, you might clench your toes, your knees might turn to jelly, uh, your stomach might get all rumbly and gurgly. Um, might hurt. Your hands might shake. This is really frustrating for violinists. Ugh, our bows just go. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Um, for singers, our our throats might get really constricted. Um, our shoulders, this is really common, our shoulders raise up towards our ears. Here's why, fun fact, in a fight, your shoulders raise up to protect your head. And so when, when we're stressed or when we're nervous, our shoulders ever so slightly come up towards our ears. 
Um, another thing that happens is your lungs will feel like they stop here. You're, you're going to take really shallow breaths because you're going, you're getting ready to run. <laughs> your body's getting ready to run. All of this is happening at a subconscious level. You're not sitting here thinking about all of this stuff. Your subconscious is uh, doing all of this for you. It's doing it to protect you. Um, which is like helpful, but not, you know, it's like, thanks. Um, so all of these things, you know, maybe your body's doing like one or two of these things or all of them, you know? And so what we can do is become aware. What, are, what, how is it manifesting? Are your toes clenching? Okay. So then take a deep breath and unclench your toes. Is your throat constricting? Take a deep breath and unclench your throat. And then try singing a little bit to warm up. Ah, is your diaphragm, does your diaphragm feel like it's up in your throat? Take a deep breath. Do you notice it always keeps coming back to the breath? That really helps um, because your breath is an automatic uh, thing that your body does, but it is also something that you can take control of and it stimulates your vagus nerve. It's a big long nerve that runs the length of your torso. And if you stimulate that vagus nerve with your breath, it tells your subconscious, hey, we're calm, we're cool. So everything starts with just noticing what your body is doing that's clenching taking a deep breath and then releasing that clenching. And the more we do that, the more we notice, breathe, unclench while we are practicing, while we are practicing performing, while we are actually performing, while you're in lessons with your teacher, the easier it gets. It's just like any other skill that you learn um, in, in your music lessons. But man, it takes a lot of practice because our bodies come hardwired with this fight or flight response that gets triggered by performance. I hope it helps. I hope this helps to know that everybody does it. Everybody gets spooked by performance. Um, me too. Uh, not so much by performance anymore, but public speaking, hit and miss. Some days I can do it great. Other days I'm like, <laughs> you know, I do the same thing. So I'm like, okay, notice, breathe, unclench. Um, it just takes a lot of giving yourself a lot of grace and uh, keep showing up for the, for the work. So anyway, um, please let me know if this has been helpful for you. If you have other tricks for uh, relaxing during performances and uh, what other questions you have. Thanks so much, guys.